All right, well, we are watching a little bit of rain this morning, mostly though over the water and then pretty far east of Houston. So I'll start right there on radar. You can see on the north end of the bay here in Trinity Bay, just south of Anoak, we have one little shower, so maybe that barely reaches I-10. But for the most part, dry weather across the majority of our area this morning. Maybe a slightly different situation, though, later on this afternoon. Here's the big picture of what's going on across the nation. We are seeing high pressure over us from Texas into the southeast. Very warm temperatures under that high. And also high pressure in the northwestern U.S. is creating some uh, very hot temperatures there. Triple digits all the way up towards Portland, for example. And then also going around that high is clockwise winds. And so that's creating a very wet uh, wind flow here. The monsoon moisture hitting the southwestern U.S. for the next few days and then right through the the middle part of the country. Things are kind of jammed up and not moving a whole lot. That's why you see how several inches of rain could fall through parts of Arizona, the Four Corners region, into Colorado, right into Kansas, middle part of the nation, and all the way over towards the Ohio Valley, where several inches may occur as well. Now, here in Texas, a lot of Texas will continue very dry, not what we want to see. Locally, it's the sea breeze that may save us and bring in a couple showers or storms each afternoon for a while. Now, you'll notice here as we get into about 4 o'clock this afternoon, this is that boundary coming in. This is like that little rush of wind we get late in the day, and sometimes that can pop up a couple of showers or a couple of thunderstorms. Not covering a lot of ground, but some of it will be possible today. It'll fizzle out by about dinner time, and it's the exact same thing once again tomorrow. Here you see Wednesday at about 4 p.m. Same thing is happening. And well beyond that, we've got more of these setups that look very similar. So it's the afternoon hours when a little rain, a couple thunderstorms may drift on by. Maybe that helps bring your temperatures down temporarily if you're near one of those downpours. Uh, but overall, temperatures will probably top out just shy of 100, upper 90s for several days, right on into the weekend and right on into next week as well.